Cool guys, I'm with Jazz of Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool and impressive background. Alright, to start things off, you want to of course open a photo, preferably one that has a full body like this one of Miley Cyrus. Um, once you have that opened, um, you're going to go here and you're going to take this texture like I'm going to show you. Yeah, this one right here. I'll provide that in the description. Copy that and then paste it under layer one like that and then just delete the background because you don't really need it then with layer one selected you're going to turn it to black and white yeah or just kind of like decorate it same thing and then after you've done that you're going to go and you're going to turn it to hard light yep hard light like that then select the, uh, the, the texture layer and go and do a Gaussian blur with these settings like this. You won't really see the effect quite yet, but yeah. Okay. Now that we have that done, we are going to now mess with the levels. Yeah, levels may be a little bit confusing, but as long as you follow these, just do what I do, it'll be easy. So do Control L, which will then open the levels part, and then just turn type in these numbers. Yeah. Okay. So now that you have that, you need to now go over and select the girl layer again. Or your main picture. Okay. And you just want to merge those, by the way. Yeah, merging them. Yeah. Now we're going to erase the background just so all you have is the girl. Or whatever photo you use, erase the background of it and just have the person. Okay. Once you have your whole background uh, erased, um, you're going to do a control A which then cuts and pastes, is, a, is cutting the uh, image. You're going to paste it on this texture here. I'll provide that in the description as well, just like everything else I always do. You want to move it around so it's on the left side of your uh, cam on this picture here. And just move it to wherever you want to feel like it. Wherever you feel like moving it is fine. Um, and then you want to do a mask layer on the texture layer below your girl. When you have the mask layer, you're going to erase part of the background. You're going to take a soft brush of any size, um, preferably a larger size of maybe 100px or 200px. Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm scrolling through a bunch of these on here, but I am. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I basically I just chose like a, I chose a uh, 200px uh, soft brush and erased it. Why I'm showing you these brushes, I don't really know, but here we go. I'm just going to erase the background using a soft edge 200px brush. Yeah, don't erase the whole thing, just, you know, part of it. Enough so you can see some of it, but yeah, kind of like that. This is a bit of white, but that's good enough. Okay, that's good enough for me. Alright, yeah, that's really good. Alright. Okay, now... After you have that, you're going to create a new layer below that layer. You're going to add these little splashes, or splashes of paint. Yeah. And you want to make sure the color for that is black, just so it looks cool. Oh yeah, it looks awesome. I'll provide the brushes and all the textures and stuff in the description, so don't go questioning me on that, because trust me, they'll be in there. <laughs> Wouldn't leave me hanging. That's what mine looks like so far. Once I've got that done, I'm going to now on, click on layer 2, and make a copy, three copies of that. You have layer 2, layer 2 copy, and layer 2 copy 2. Then... I'm going to rotate each copy. The only one that won't be rotated is the first copy. Yeah, like this. 
It may look kind of weird right now, but you'll end up seeing the cool effect in the end. It's pretty chill, not gonna lie. Do a control T to do rotation, just FYI. But I'm sure you know that by now if you're an expert in Photoshop like I am. Alright, now you're gonna click on the first copy layer and you're going to open levels. Oh yeah. And basically all you're doing with the levels is you're making it a completely black image. You're making the whole that layer black. Like, yeah. It'll end up looking kind of black, but yeah. And then open the levels again and do the same thing on the next copy layer. So both copies are the same. And they look kind of black right now, but when you change the opacity, it looks pretty awesome. Changing the opacity down to 50% on both copy layers. Oh yeah. Make sure layer 2 is above all those. And look at that. How cool is that? Oh yeah. It's a shadow effect. Okay. So once those are done, we're going to add more stuff to it. Oh yeah, we're going to pimpify it. So click on the brushes again and select a uh, 1px brush. And we're going to draw lines around the chick. So my lean will have lines around her because it will give her an awesome effect. Make sure you make a new layer for that, by the way. Yeah. New layer for that. And now just trace around the image as I am doing here. Even though you can't really see it because I didn't zoom in far enough, oh well, you get the idea, right? Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much taking a while to do, just to let you know, because you got to make it precisely awesome. Yes, I said precisely awesome. That is a new word. <laughs> Okay, Miley has now been traced around, and she looks pretty awesome and pretty chill. Once that is done, I'm going to just change the opacity a tiny, a tiny bit. Not too much, just maybe like a couple, like down to 75% or something. So it kind of like blends in. Alright, now on to layer 1 again, the textured layer. Click on that, and then that way below it, add this texture. So above it, you'll have that texture. Change that to screen. Oh, and look at that. Oh, yeah. Add a mask layer to that, and erase parts of that layer as well, so that you can still see your other textured layer. Oh, and doesn't that look awesome? Oh, it does look awesome. Then, once you've done that, then you just pretty much have it pretty much done. Uh, this is another one I made earlier on. How cool does it look? And yeah, like the sign says, my yellow button needs some love. Thanks for watching, guys, and subscribe, because you know you want to.